a glimpse of where all this is going. Look no further than our neighbor to the north. Now, you may have seen this video of the Canadian pastor kicking the COVID mask enforcers out of his church. Well, just days ago, the authorities caught up to him after he held a morning church service. And then watch what happened. That man, Pastor Artur Pavlovsky, joins me now. Pastor, you said you spent 30 hours in solitary confinement after what we just saw? Yeah, total, we What's spent three days. What's happened to your country? Uh, we, we have no, no rights whatsoever. The, what we have right now is some kind of a hybrid between the fascism and communism, medical tyranny. It looks like we have absolutely no rights whatsoever. The, the premier of Alberta right now declared the protesting is illegal. So when I opened my church in the protest against the government overreach, I was, as you saw, I was uh, taken to custody. I was um, manhandled. Uh, they really, really wanted me to be hurt. They threw me into a cell. They deprived me from sleep for two days. I spent three mm. days in jail for my crime of opening the church in a free and democratic society. Did you ever think you would see this in a supposedly free and democrat society? A former Eastern Bloc, you know, you know what tyranny and, and dictatorships are like. Did you ever think you would see this? No, I escaped tyranny. I escaped communism and socialism. I came to Canada only because Canada was offering me freedom. And here we are again, a repetition of history. And I decided I'm going to stand up and fight to the dead. That's what I said to the officer. You know, you're not going to intimidate me. You can torture me if you want or shoot me dead or taser me, but I'm going to fight until the day I die. I have three children. And if, you know, that's my message to the people. If you don't want to do it for yourself, Please have some decency and do it for your children, because what kind of country are we going to leave behind for the future generation? How are we going to look into the faces of our children, our sons and daughters, and say to them, yeah, we allowed this to happen. We did nothing. We didn't care about your future. Here's what the police said about your arrest. Law enforcement recognizes people's right to de uh, desire to participate in faith-based gatherings as well as right to protest. However, as we find ourselves in the midst of a global pandemic, we all must comply with public health orders. Pastor, your reaction? Oh, it's, it's a sham. This whole thing is a big, fat lie. When I grew up behind the Iron Curtain, that's what we were receiving on a daily basis. Lie, man, manipulation, misinformation. If you were looking for the truth, you were arrested, sentenced to jail. If you were caught listening to European uh, radio, you could face five years jail time. That's why they're deplatforming Christians. They're deplatforming de anyone that opposes them and brings forth the truth because they're terrified of the truth. Like I always say, lie is afraid of the truth. Truth is never afraid of the lie. So they need to remove people like me. We are growing. We are growing by the thousands. Our church is full. Yeah. We have thousands of people coming to the rallies. And then we have become political prisoners. They are starting to be afraid of us. And my message to you is watch what's happening here because it's coming your way unless you rise up and stand up and fight. You have to be like lions chasing off the hyenas. Oh, Pastor Pawlowski, you're also Polish, so I just love you for that reason, okay? <laughs> it's like I'm half <laughs> Polish, you're Polish, so you got that fight in you. The Poles always do. Uh, Pastor, thank, thank you. you. Great to see you tonight, and good luck.